Hey everyone, it's Goddess Lily and welcome back to my channel. Honestly, I think this might be my last video until this Botox wears off. <laughs> Okay, so I went for my eighth month eyelid surgery post-op appointment. And I went a little early. I went at uh, the beginning of December, which I should have went on the 27th, which is today actually, because this is my actual eighth month today. My surgery was on April 27th, 2015, so I am eight months post-op. So I went in and the purpose of going was to get another steroid injection into the scar and to inquire about this little bump. I have a little bump that appears right over my eyelid and it's, it's kind of hard and I've been doing everything to try to make it go away. I still use my scar treatment uh, gel at night Let's see if you can see this. This is what I use. It's supposed to be the best scar treatment gel on the market and it's like $40 and all you need is just a little tiny dab and it's supposed to keep your scar tissue soft and keep it from wanting to form new scar tissue. So I got my injection and uh, well, actually, before I got the injection, because he has to numb the eye, and then it does swell up a little bit. So he says, well, we talked about Botox, seeing how, seeing if we gave you a couple injections around the eye, if it would lift the eyelid. So I thought about it, because Botox is not permanent, and it will wear off in four months. It is, you know, something that I wanted to try, just especially for my... Um, what do you call these? 11s or frown lines. So um, what I had to buy was 20 units and it cost $200. So I'm not sure if I have a reserve or not because I was scared to death. And so he said, well, if we give it to you on this side, we really have to give it to you on this side too. So this whole side is just, you know, a little droopy because of my um, accident I had when I was a little girl. So I said, okay, let's do it. So they gave me an injection here, uh, here, uh, right here, 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 and then three tiny injections across the base of the forehead. They didn't go up high. They went like here, here, here. And actually today is the, um, I'm going to say... 17 days after my Botox injection. So, um, I can still do this and I can still do that. I don't know if you see any frown lines up there. I'm doing it, but I don't know if you actually see any. And I can go like this, but I still see them here. So that's why I said I didn't really get a real aggressive. But what I'm noticing is that it is they're making my eyelids heavy. So I have read that the Botox sometimes will drain down and make your eyelids heavy. And if that happens, they'll give you some drops to help lift them up. Now, you know, this eyelid is a ptosis eyelid, meaning the muscle, the levator muscle is already weak. It's so weak that it can't really hold the eyelid up. So it's making it droop more. And to me, it looks really horrible on the videos unless I stretch my eyes up like this and talk. But I normally talk like this. Now, for some reason, my photos, because I, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Goddess Lily on Instagram. I post a lot of makeup and a lot of just selfies, you know, either in the gym or before I go to gym with wigs on, no wigs on. I mean, I post photo selfies and they don't, it doesn't seem to look that bad in the photos, but to me on the video, I don't know, it just really looks droopy and um, I've been practicing staring in the camera, so I'm staring right at you. So I need you to give me a little bit of feedback because I don't think I will ever get Botox again. But the one-year mark will be next April, 
and I am still seriously thinking about having the ptosis fix, which is having the muscle fix, where they flip the eyelid up and kind of close up the muscle a little bit to lift it up. Because right now it's flat. I don't have an eyelid fold, and that just drives me nuts. I had a little eyelid fold before they did the Botox, so I have some before and after photos that I'm just going to put in so you can see uh, before the Botox, after the Botox, um, you know, before surgery, midpoint surgery, after. I just put a whole lot of photos in because I think this is going to be my last um, eyelid surgery post because I don't know that I'm going to be making any more videos until this Botox wears off. Okay, so um, tell me what you think. And um, Happy New Year. Thank you for watching.